Hey there, welcome back. I'm doing another weekly plan with me. I've been changing up my weeklies a little bit recently, trying to find something that, you know, ever works a little bit better. And so I'm actually trying out a new weekly. Uh, this is the second week I'm in it. So here is my weekly plan with me formula. The first thing I've been doing is going through my dailies from the past week. Anything in there that is still actionable, that needs to be migrated or needs to be noted somewhere, maybe I put a note about something that needs to be migrated to another collection somewhere, I do that first and then I take out those dailies so that they're not clogging me down. I have been leaving the weekly pages in for the current month and just uh, removing them at the end of each month. And so as we're going into April now, I'm just going through these weeklies from March and then removing those so that I'm lighter and freer and ready for the next month. I have put enough blank weekly spreads in here to last me through April. So this weekly that I'm using right now is Peanuts Planner Co's DR144. I've been seeing a lot of people all over Instagram, Facebook using this, and I just think it's gorgeous, and I'm still not 100% convinced that it's going to work for me long term, but I'm trying it out. So this is week two. One thing I really like about this insert is that it allows you to use the left side uh, tracker there. It has a lot of spaces, so I actually use that for my tasks. I've mentioned before when I talk about the Alistair method, check the link, uh, that I like to use an Alistair weekly for my tasks so that I can assign a date to each task and then not feel like committed to it. I don't have to write it in a box and then move it around. It's easier to move it, all of that. The only concern is that, yes, there's a lot of lines, but there may not be enough on certain weeks where I want to put more things there. So we'll see how it goes. The top of the left-hand side is where I'm putting my projects. So anything that I need to get done that week that needs like multiple steps and that I need to focus on. Um, I have a couple different things working on cleaning the uh, kitchen which is a project that I have been putting off for a while and I'm really excited to finally tackle. We're having some friends come over for lunch on Saturday, so this is my kick in the butt to finally get the kitchen looking eh, somewhat presentable. My weekly videos that I need to work on are also on the left-hand side there. Then on the right, we just get the dates. Uh, I'm gonna put notes here for meals, uh, for any sort of events that are going on. The events and tasks will come both from my monthly and also possibly from a couple other places, uh, project pages, my context list in the very front of my planner. And throughout the week, as ever I think of things, I'll either add them to the Alistair to-do list on the left, or to a square on the right, or just to my daily. Something that I kind of like about the format of this weekly spread is that it allows me a little bit more room to be a bit more creative decoratively. And then as usual, I save the washi tape from my weekly, uh, carry it around with me and use that to set up my dailies throughout the week. So like I said, I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna stick with this weekly spread for very long, um, but if I do or if I don't, either way, I'll probably be doing a few more of these weekly plan with me's because my weekly planning routine has become a little bit more solidified lately and it's something that I'm finding really useful to get my week started off on the right track. So guys, do you have an Instagram? Because I have an Instagram and you should check it out. I've been trying to post there a lot more recently. If you look at Ganshi underscore, there's a link below. Uh, I will be posting more content over there on my Instagram to complement everything that you see here on YouTube. So I will see you there. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.